Hey there, I'm Emily, and welcome to my beer channel. This week, things are going to be getting a little bit fruity. Well, this month is LGBTQ Pride Month, and if you don't know what that means, it stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Queer Pride. Since it is National Pride Month and I am gay, we are going to play a game today. It's going to be a true or false game, and you have to guess whether the lesbian stereotypes that I say out loud are true or false about me. And the title of this game is... Gay or Nay? The title of this game is going to be Gay or Nay. Alright, do I wear Birkenstocks? True or false? True. Um, at least one cat, preferably more. I have a cat at my parents' house. Well, like, Ringo is my cat, but I'm more of a dog person, but... The two beers that I picked to try today are both fruit beers. The first one is a fr is Fruly, and it's a strawberry beer, and the other one is Lambic's Flambois. Frambois. Frambois. Flambois. Flambois. Now I can't even say it right. Um, this one, which is French for raspberry, so. Do I wear makeup? Hint. Um, yes, I do wear makeup. Um, probably about half the time. Um, the appropriate kind of cars that lesbians drive. The, the choices are Saab, pickup trucks, Subaru Outbacks, Jeep Wranglers, Xterras, Mini Coopers, and Volvos. Granted, I don't drive one of those cars, but I actually want to drive about half of them, so sort of true. Alright, well, Fruly is um, a Belgian beer. The base of it is a Belgian white beer um, brewed with coriander and orange peel. So it's, it's a, a light beer to begin with, and then they put strawberry puree in it. It is super delicious. It's very, very 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 sweet it is very bubbly it is very pink in color oh yeah I've got the awesome glass to go with it what what all I smell is strawberry it is so sweet it's slightly tart it barely even tastes like beer yep all right it's great Tops, uh, flannel, more flannel, folksy prints, and polar fleece. This one's kind of a maybe because I do have one fleece that I wear, or flannel that I wear, um, but I do wear a lot of v-necks. I feel like v-necks are now a lesbian thing. Do not wear a bra. I usually always have a bra. Granted, it's always a sports bra, and I only wear fancy bras when I'm wearing fancy clothes, but I don't know if that makes me gay or what. I know somebody who likes to put um, half Fruly and half cider, so I'm going to go get one of the hard ciders that I had left over from last week and give that a try. Makes it more of an orangey color now. Smells like a mix between hard cider and strawberry beer. What? That's not bad. It definitely tones down the strawberry flavor. Overall, both the Fruly and the Fruly mixed with hard cider were really good. I'll prob probably rate them a 3 or 3.5 just because I like the sweet stuff. Uh, vegetarian. Half true. I was a vegetarian for four years, all of which were years that I was out of the closet, so... Sure. Fanny packs. Does a roux count? Because straight girls wear those too. The next one we'll be trying is a Lambic Frambois. It is a Belgian raspberry beer. Ooh, so fancy. Oh, dude, there's a cork in it. The what the what? I'm gonna need more tools. Okay. Why do I suck? Ow. Finally. Alright, as you can see, this beer is nearly purple. 
it smells so sweet and so good. It's like raspberry sorbet. This is definitely a, a dessert beer. I would drink a glass of this instead of having cake any day. Well, maybe not any day. You can really taste the raspberries. It's sweet with a tart aftertaste. So good. Uh, career choices, such as PE teacher, basketball player, softball player, and professional golfer. I do play rugby, which is a very stereotypical sport for lesbians to play. Apparently we're good at sports. Uh, lesbians enjoy camping. I do. I went camping for my birthday and it was great. Well, that about sums up all of the lesbian cliches that I found on the internet. <coughs> my last count of if I'm actually a lesbian stereotype or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't change who I am on the inside. It's all about self-discovery and self-identification. But, um, enjoy the rest of Pride Month. I hope you all have a great time and respect each other. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.